Hi, my name is Kayleen Strack. I live in Leduc, Alberta, and I'm currently a grade 12 student. I have had the absolute pleasure of being not only the president of the Christ King Track Club for the past year and a half, but one of its co-founders as well. In the summer of 2011, a group of friends and I decided that we wanted to give back to both our local and international communities. We held a few meetings over the summer, mostly in the basements of each other's houses, and discussed how we were going to make this happen. Before school started, this group and I made a presentation to our school's principal, who in turn granted us the permission to create the school's first ever in track club. After a few more months of meetings and organization, the school board granted us the permission to travel to Costa Rica the following summer to paint and repair the buildings in an orphanage there. Needless to say, we were ecstatic. To this day, the creation of the club and the now biannual humanitarian trip is one of my proudest accomplishments. When we arrived in Costa Rica, I thought that because of the cultural and language differences that I would feel like I was stepping into a completely different world. I could not have been more wrong. Rather than stepping out of it, I stepped out of my own little realm of comfort and fully took part in immersing myself in the global community. If there's one thing I learned from my experiences on that trip, it's that the only thing that separated these children from the ones I interact with every day back home was luck. Just a few of the various projects that I've led with the Interact Club include bringing holiday gifts to seniors living in nursing homes, hosting dog adoption days with no-kill shelters, holding fundraisers and clothing drives for homeless shelters and youth centers, and sending coats to the underprivileged in Peru. We've also helped with preparation and setup for several community events and fundraisers. And in our native language, we are Outside of Interact, I've been actively involved with Student Council for the past six years. I volunteered for several community fundraisers, including the Terry Fox Run and the MS Bike Tour. I was a member of the Keystone Youth Club in Leduc, and I've been a staff member at the Boys and Girls Club for a year and a half. I have also been lucky enough to attend both RILA and the Rotary District Conference, where I was able to meet and learn from other youth across the province. Before joining Interact, I'd never quite found my niche in life. I was an average student, I wasn't, and still am not an athlete, nor was I inclined towards dramatic arts. I had good friends and the most amazing family, but I still felt like I hadn't tapped into what really made me happy. Joining Interact changed that for me. When I go to a meeting or a project, I am greeted by other students within my own school who are passionate and interested in the same thing I am, creating peace, if even in the smallest ways. Even though I'm graduating this year, I won't stop. I want to continue to learn more about the world around me and the ways in which I can make a positive impact in it. Next year, I fully intend on joining a Rotaract club in Edmonton. I want to take what I've learned from Rotary and apply it to my career choices as well. A goal of mine is to attend post-secondary and to work with children in another country as well. I know that my trip to Costa Rica is what has inspired me to do so. Because of Interact, I've become more socially aware and my life has been filled with color and passion because of it. To me, peace is having a total mutual respect for all other humans in the world. Regardless of race, religious beliefs, citizenship, social class or sexual orientation, we are all citizens of the world and we share in it together. Our beliefs may differ, but so long as we, as a society, understand those differences, I believe that we will one day all be able to coexist in peace together. I truly hope that you'll consider taking me along on this life-changing experience. If you do, I promise that I will learn every day. I'll go to every session with an open mind and an open heart. I will connect myself to the present and I will learn skills for the future. I know attending this conference will introduce me to new ways of thinking and to new ways of approaching ideas. I want to take this knowledge and apply it to my everyday life. I am still in the process of determining what exactly it is that I want to do with the rest of my life and how I can make the greatest positive impact in the world with it. I know that this conference, this adventure will teach me so much and may help me learn what my calling in life is. May 17th, the first day of the conference, will be exactly one week after my high school graduation ceremony and I can't think of a better time to take steps towards determining my future than the week after it's presented before me. Thank you. Do you ever think of me in the quiet? In the crowd